I'm Brad Hoppy, and you're watching Mayhem's 10,000 Cast. We're not some high dollar production company. We are musky anglers with raw musky footage. Ice out muskies, here we go. First stop, Matt Seifert. We gotta pick up Matt and his boat, and then we're heading to Iowa. Like I said, we're going to pick up my good friend Matt Seifert, grab his boat, and get right back on the road. That's the whole idea. Make it to the lake so we can get on the water. Next, we're going to hook up with Ryan Becker, with Ryan Becker's guide service out of Iowa. Here's a few pictures of what Ryan's capable of doing down in Iowa. A couple pictures of himself, as well as some of his clients. What's going on, hey, what's guys? What's up, Brad? It's starting. Musky season started this morning. What do you guys think about that? No, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Done this in March before. Pretty excited. Not starting with the wall, I think we get. Awesome. Let's go. Boats in the back. Time to go get some muskies. Yep. Hey, I'm Ryan Becker um, from Clear Lake, Iowa. I run Iowa Musky Guide Service. Um, fish a bunch of different lakes in North Iowa and Central Iowa. March Madness. March Madness, baby. Let's hope. This episode is Ice Out Muskies. As soon as the ice goes out, we're getting the boats out on the water. This time of year, you're not getting a lot of long windows, but the bite windows are extremely aggressive. Shorter, maybe an hour. That's probably even pushing it. 20, 30 minutes, but you'll have several of them throughout the day. The action is super good. We're running baits, smaller baits. Matt, it looks like NASA over here with all these screens. <laughs> That's good, the more the merrier. We'll get the 360 on here and they won't be able to hide. The biggest thing in the spring is the electronics. You know, you're fishing a lot of sand, hard bottom, and those fish are congregated. You, you know, use your side scan, pinpoint where those fish are located. All right, we're here doing some ice out musky fishing. Three days ago, the ice went out. 
and we decided that we would come out here and give it a shot. Um, what we're targeting is shallower sand flats with a close deep drop off close to the sand flats and the water is super clear but it's still really cold you got to concentrate and fish as slow as you can if you're fishing twitch cranks like this you got to let it hang get your twitches in let it hang well first time in Iowa pretty excited Ryan's running the boat so I just get to relax up here this is his home water he's already been catching fish three days after ice out so I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm excited. I've never musky fished this early in the year, that's for sure. But pretty lake and I heard there's lots of muskies in it, so hopefully we catch a few. Well, we just had our first fall of the uh, afternoon. Came in pretty hot and high in the water, so that's a good sign. Wind's starting to pick up. We're gonna go try a couple other spots and keep grinding. We got our first catch in the boat for the day. <laughs> A little buddy on the detonator, Mr. Crawdad. <laughs> Unreal, huh? I think Pretty you got a real faster bread. Maybe just a little, but you know, it's cold water, so I'm trying to go slow. <laughs> I guess I'm getting down there. <laughs> well, now we got dinner tonight. Mmm, yummy. Apple throw back. <laughs> Well, just had one swing and miss by the boat here, um, fishing as slow as I could, and I looked down, a couple pumps, bait was standing still, she missed it by an, about an inch, came up, rup, missed it, just sunk down super lazy, but hopefully they're biting now, so major just started, so hopefully we'll get one here in a minute. We're going to drift back across that flat and we'll know right where to cast at them with the 360 in. Should work good, hopefully. It's super sweet when it sweeps out, like as it's coming around, as somebody's doing the figure eight. You see the bubble trail like, of the top water base and the white fish behind it? Yeah, March Muskies! That's so great! That's sweet! Just hammered it way out. Yeah. That was awesome. No complaints. Thanks, Ryan. That was fun. Alright, here we go. First fish. Ryan by the town. March, whatever it is, 19th? 19th, yeah. yeah. Pretty awesome. Got these guys down here. The bite's been pretty steady the last couple days. And a lot of action and finally put one in the bag. Finally, it's only been four hours. That's right. pretty good. <laughs> Here she is. Nice fat. Nice a healthy chunker. Healthy fish. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. No problem. Super fun. Yeah. Pretty. Fat. My first tree spawn muskie of my life, right here. Beautiful. Look at how fast she is. Oh, 
That was awesome. Put the photo on. The water's really cold. <laughs> icebergs floating everywhere. I pretty much caught that one under an iceberg. So awesome. First muskie of the year for me. Yeah. Get another one. Let's do it. Oh, I missed that. Yeah. That was good. I got to look at that on the truck on the way home now. Right. Right. Tons of black line. I love it. I think we're going to get one or two more shots here tonight. Yeah, boys. Good job. <laughs> Number two in the bag. We've had a bunch of other opportunities. Let's we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Hey, he's on there. All right. Nice, clean, pretty fish. Look at that. Yeah. Good stuff. Pretty eyes. She's getting squirrely. Let's get her back in the water. Good stuff. Oh, it's another nice one. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Good job, dude. Another one. That's number three already. Backlash Podcast, your relevant source for musky fishing information. Topics including casting, trolling, equipment, electronics, and techniques. Talking to manufacturers, guides, TV personalities, and everyday fishermen. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook to keep up to date for the latest episodes. Find us on your favorite podcast platform and hit the subscribe button now. Aquatraction Marine Flooring has changed the game. Aquatraction has the highest density foam in the industry, which increases overall durability and abrasion resistance. Aquatraction uses the highest grade substrate material, which includes cross-link polyethylene that practically eliminates stains. Soft, durable, long-lasting marine flooring from a company that cares about their customers. All marine flooring is not the same. Go to aquatraction.com to find a dealer near you and see the difference for yourself. Aquatraction, simply the best. Third fish of the trip. Um, God, it's been an incredible evening so far. We've all got fish, both Matt, Brad, and myself now. This one ate the mini X, bunch of action on the crankbaits, and finally we got one to commit fully. So let's get her unhooked and check her out. All right, guys. Here we go. Another nice one. Third of the trip, clean couple nicks on her but 
They're charged up and just eating right now. All right, we're gonna get her back. See if we can get number four for the trip. There she goes. Awesome, nice work, right? Yeah, all right, on to number four. It's rolling right now, boys. Well, we're wrapping up day one. Super fun day. Uh, I've met Ryan a few times before we've hung out, but this was a real treat coming down here in March. I did not expect this. I'm usually walleye fishing right now on the river back home, but three fish, you know, first, and we only fished this afternoon, so that was really fun. Um, Ryan definitely was dialed. I'm glad we drove down here. And I could, man, I don't know what more you could ask for for the first uh, day of pre spawn filming. I mean, just tons of action, at least an hour and a half, not two, of the bite window. And just the fish weren't even messing around, just eating baits, but how you want them to eat. And uh, we all were lucky enough to put one in the bag. Super fun. Can't thank Ryan enough. Whew, it's getting chilly now. All right, day two, just getting ready to go out, got the boat ready, gonna run and get some gas and get on the water. It's a little bit windier today, it's supposed to gust at potentially 30, but the couple of locations we have fish is protected by the wind, so that should be good. And I think today we might even try a little pre-spawn trolling, so see how that goes. Look at this little guy. That bait's hot out here. This little crane. Day two, just set up the trolling rods. We're gonna troll for a little bit. Uh, midday yesterday when we started, we didn't see many fish uh, shallow, so we just set up trolling. Gonna try a little bit off the break, some open water stuff, see what happens. Just kind of get an idea of how it all lays out. Uh, but we know one thing we'll be casting later on this afternoon for major in the shallow water. So we'll give this a shot for a little bit, see what happens. We'll turn down the trolling. Haven't had any luck. Marked a couple fish. We're thinking they're shallower still, so we're going to switch to the casting and see what we can see doing that. The water's starting to warm up. A little wind chop, should be good. Casting time, I'm ready. So if you take a look at the map, what we're trying to target is these big shallow flats, sand flats. And when I say shallow, relative to this body of water, I'm two to six feet is what we're fishing. And this particular one has a ton of sand grass and that's drawing the perch in and there's perch everywhere hiding and that's bringing the muskies in. You wanna find a flat that has deep water close to it. I mean, we got a big expansive flat here and it drops right into 10 to 15 feet. And that's what you wanna look for, something they can slide up and back out to deep water quickly after they're fe done feeding.
<laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Sweet, dude. That's awesome. Back in the zone. I'm four in the bag. It was a matter of time. Major's almost supposed to start. Yeah. We're saving our good spot for race for the major, but we just run into one of his other spots here. Adjacent to our spot we're gonna fish this afternoon, so we already got one. I think that was third cast or something. So fun, eight way out again. Mark fishing muskies is not crappy. Fish number four, sporty version here. Starting to bite on day two. Yeah, super fun. Hopefully we can get a few more bites now. Nursery fish, look at her looking at you. Look at that ball. <laughs> nice. All right, let's get her back in another one. Here we go. They're starting to bite again. I'm super excited. We're gonna get two more or three more? Let's take it three more. Three more. So we'll have seven at the end of day two. That's the plan. Hopefully it works out. I gotta remember to slow down there. I'm all excited now. Brad's on the camera, so I'm stealing his bait. He caught the biggest fish yesterday. So Ryan, I gotta ask you about this fishing because this is pretty wild. I've uh, never fished in pre-spawn like this. I did not. If I thought we'd be out on steep, deep water, steep breaks, fishing really slow. And these fish are two to six feet of water and they're pretty aggressive. I mean, why do you think that is? I would say because the lake doesn't have a thermocline right now and the water's basically the same temperature everywhere shallow and now the ice is gone. I think those fish just slide up to radiate that heat. And typically this time of year, the sunny days are better. And the food's doing the same thing. So I think it's the best case scenario for those fish to move up, kill two birds with one stone. Yeah. So even though there's ice right by the shore, I and mean, some of these bays we're in, but that sand will hold the heat then. You tell yeah. Me. Yeah, it's so wild. This, I just did not expect that at all. but. The activity of these fish in the shallow water is obviously holding the warmth. I noticed that too when we were throwing out deeper when we came in. The water temp went up about a degree as soon as we got in here casting. So that's pretty awesome. I'm just blown away still. <laughs>
one. This is a good one. Oh yeah, dude. This is a nice one. Right on. Nicer anyway. Alright, she's not hooked to super good. Got her! Woo! Good one, buddy. That's a nice That's one. Beauty. I'm gonna spot lock. Yeah! Number four unhooked already. Yeah, she wasn't hooked good. Nice work, dude. Yeah. Six. Day two, we're uh, getting ready to about wrap her up here, maybe another hour of fishing, but we hit the window again and got a couple nice fish. Matt was able to get one and then I hooked up on the eight inch mini X and that was a solid fish as well. So. We're going to see if we can get a few more bites here, but all in all, another good bite window on day two. And to day two, we wanted four, we caught two. We still had fun, it was awesome. Shorter, shorter window. Yeah. Earlier and shorter than it was yesterday, so. Started right before the major. It kind of surprised us all. I'm glad we were in the spot when it happened. Kind of our, our finale here, I guess. Um, just want to thank Ryan Becker. Um, if you guys are looking for an early trip, Ryan's definitely the guy to come with. Man, we, we truly appreciate this. This no is a lot of fun. Again, I'm Ryan Becker. If you guys are looking for a guide uh, in North Iowa or anywhere in Iowa early in the season pre-spawn, um, my number is 641-529-2680. I also have Facebook, Ryan Joseph Becker, and Instagram, BeckDog23. Thanks. Early season, ice out, muskies, pre-spawn, good stuff. We got something done, five fish, pretty awesome. <laughs>